nothing has been solved. The situation is worse, is as worse as it was at the beginning, and we literally burned money by trying to bail it out. Hi, I'm Matt Welch for Reason TV. I'm in Las Vegas at Freedom Fest, uh, annual event for libertarians the world over. And speaking of the world over, I'm here with the Austrian, Austrian Barbara Kolm. She's the president of the Hayek Institute in Vienna, Austria. Thank you for joining us here at Reason. My pleasure. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about the Hayek Institute. What do the Austrians do in Austria? Well, we bring back the Austrians to Austria. <laughs> Literally. 15 years ago, there was no Hayek in Austria. I mean, people did not know their Nobel laureate in economics. So we do a lot of university programs. We do teach, we run big conferences. We have our free market roadshow, which is touring Europe. This year, the topic was Europe on the road to serfdom. Everybody uh, in America is wondering what the hell is going on in Europe and what's happening with the Euro and disintegration. Give us an Austrian Austrian's take on the current Euro crisis. Well, finally, uh, the truth comes uh, to the surface. Uh, the welfare states, as we know them, don't work. Uh, socialism doesn't work, and uh, this is what we see right now. Redistribution is something uh, that doesn't work. Uh, we have been living on other people's money for way too long. Uh, our economy is uh, too diverse. Our countries are too diverse. You, this one-size-fits-all policy that Brussels wants to oppose on everybody in Europe um, has no future. And with the weaknesses, or actually due to the financial crisis and then the sovereign debt crisis, everything was visible all of a sudden. We just prolonged the problems for a very long time. In the 1990s, I think Western Europe privatized something like $7 trillion worth of stuff. And it really was on the cutting edge of actually going into an interestingly, I would say, positive direction. And even part of the preparations of the euro were kind of part of that process, that people had to get their finances allegedly in line. Uh, is it a kind of thing where it's, you know, it, there was a, a fundamental deal with the devil at the beginning of something that could have been good, or is it just a, a hopeless from the beginning, that kind of integration? Well, the idea uh, having the four liberties is great, and this is what we need, but we don't need a strong centrally planned government. We neither need a centrally planned tax code all over Europe harmonizing all the taxes. We know that competition is the best thing. Also competition of tax uh, regimes. So this is one thing. Second thing, um, if, we, if we look at those diversity we have in the countries, uh, the obvious things are the languages, but also the labor laws are diverse. Uh, the mentality of the people is diverse. Uh, the productivity is diverse, the industry is diverse. So you can't put this into one size fits all. So the, at the beginning, as you pointed out in the 90s, the first steps towards privatization and liberalization were great, towards more freedom and of course economic growth. But now they just turned around 180 degrees with all the new regulations, especially after the, the financial crisis. Prediction time, Greece is not going to stay in the euro. What about Spain? In Spain, we have the problem of individual debt, not sovereign debt like, for example, in Greece. So it's the individual indebtedness. And we have a problem with the cajas, which are the, the local uh, banks, the small uh, banks those banks uh, are indebted as well and so you cannot compare these two countries but coming back to your question yes uh, Greece will have to leave the euro sooner or later because the imbalances are rising after three years of pouring money into Greece nothing has been solved the situation is worse is as worse as it was at the beginning and we literally burned money by trying to bail it out so we just prolonged the problem but there was no solution can you point to uh, countries where you see positive action in terms of reforming pensions reforming the structure of welfare statism 20 years ago 25 years ago Ireland was the poor man the sick man of Europe and then turned out by really market-based solutions to become a hero and a star. Of course, they focused very much in the financial industry, and by then they were, you know, they were caught on this in, in the trap. But they solved their problems, and they will be on a sound and solid base very soon again. So I don't see problems for them. Very good. Uh, for uh, Reason TV, thank you very much, Barbara Colm. I'm Matt Welch. See you soon.